Uh, today being Monday, um, I have a lunch at BC Telco Health. I'm going to check out the, uh, the, well, I guess the remodel BCD Telco in uh, the Diamond Jamboree at Diamond Jamboree in Irvine. Uh, they, they blew it up, they expanded next door, and I heard that it's, it's, very, it's twice the size now, so I'm going to go check that out. But uh, first of all, uh, let's, uh, we need to get Sally to school, so we're going to do that first. Good morning, Widget. How are you? What are you eating? Yeah, having breakfast, eh? Let's see. Push the button. Oh, that happens. Plug it in. Normally when I go to the supercharger to charge this car, I would walk over to the Starbucks coffee and, and get a Starbucks, but I don't feel like it today. I think I'm just going to sit here and do some work while the car charges. Yeah. Then I have my coffee, my old town white coffee when I get home. Today's mail, a uh, $30 coupon from Blue Apron, hey, 30 bucks, let me try them out, and a uh, visa statement, visa statement. <laughs> you ever notice, whenever you get your visa statement in the mail, they always include a couple of visa checks that you can, you know, write a check on, and, and what it really is, it's just, a, it's just a cash advance on your credit card, and if you actually use it, to pay something, anything, uh, interest starts at the moment it gets cash. It's not like a typical where you charge, like say dinner, you get like 45 days to pay the bill and there's no interest on that. But if you were to write a check for dinner using this visa check, uh, interest starts instantly. So uh, anyone who actually uses these things are just financially stupid. So, so when I get these, I just shred it into the shredder. But the shredder is where it belongs. Oh, mail is done. Going over the uh, comments on my vlog, I noticed a little comment here from Mr. Jack Daniel. And he says he read my book, but something is just not connecting with him. It says, it says you are worth about $4 million. He Googled my net worth, and yet uh, I make... 200,000 every couple of months, so your net worth not fluctuate, this is question. And he says, you only have two vehicles that are paid for by mob. I go, why don't you have any other stuff to show off like I'm, I'm rich as F, look at my Rolex, Lambo, or whatever, that's the question. So uh, interesting, um, first of all, he said he Googled me and, and said, came up with my net worth of $4 million. So I did, so I did that, a little Google, and it, basically he's referring to this, this blog here by uh, CaseyLau.com. And apparently Casey Lau wrote an article how millionaire blogger John Chow manages his wealth. And in this article, Casey says I am, he, it's an interesting article, he broke down what I make, uh, where it comes from, and all this stuff. And he even did a little balance sheet here that says my net worth was $4,099,150. Now, uh, so I guess that's where I came from. Now, keep in mind, um, this this article is written back in May 18, 2007. So it's like over 10 years ago. And like I like my answer to uh, my answer to Mr. Jack Daniel here, uh, 10 years ago, four million dollars is no longer my net worth. All right. So uh, how how much was my net worth today? Well, um, I'm not going to reveal the exact number because it's, uh, it may not be high enough to impress you, or it may be so high, it scares you. But I would be considered what's called a high net worth individual. That's the financial term for it. As for why don't I have like fancy jewelry, fancy watches, or fancy designer clothes to show off on my wealth and stuff. Uh, the only thing fancy I do have are the Tesla and, uh, and the Jaguar, and those actually supply for free by mobile, I don't pay for those. 
for, so why don't I have any fancy stuff to show wealth or show that I'm rich? It's because uh, I don't need them. I, honestly, I don't need them. I, there's no need to be to be flashy, show that kind of stuff. And hey, hey, here's the thing: if you ever read the uh, the book, The Millionaire Next Door, and he, uh, if you haven't read it, I suggest you go read it. It's very, very eye-opening. Uh, see, because the Average millionaire, we're talking millionaire here, not see the difference between a millionaire and a person who actually makes a lot of money. Uh, the, see, when you talk about millionaire, I talk about net worth, like they are worth a million dollars. Being a millionaire does not mean you make a million bucks. I mean, if you make a million bucks and you spend a million bucks, it's irrelevant. You're not a millionaire, all right? You're just spending, you're, just, you're spending everything you make. But net worth, how much you take all your assets, take all your liability, what is your net worth? And millionaire. The average millionaire, according to this book, uh, doesn't drive fancy cars. They don't live in an upper class gated community. Uh, they don't, they actually, the average millionaire probably drives a pickup truck. And they just wear, they live in middle class neighborhoods. So, and the reason why is very, very simple. When you look, when you look at it, remember, remember what I said about my formula for getting rich, right? First of all, you need to make more than you spend. So you need to make more than you spend. And it's really tough to make more than you spend if you are paying a million dollar mortgage for a super expensive house, a whole bunch of car leases, uh, all this other stuff, and you got, you're spending almost everything you make, there's nothing, you cannot invest the difference. So therefore it's impossible to become a millionaire. Now, millionaire become millionaire because they make way more than they spend and they invest it. So therefore, you're gonna find the average millionaire actually lives in a middle class neighborhood, drive a, more than likely drive a used car, and you won't see them wearing Rolexes or wearing designer clothes like Armani suits or stuff. They'll be wearing their own t-shirt. And you know, this t-shirt is possible. I might wear my own t-shirt, I'm wearing a t-shirt that I get for free at a trade show. Right? Because make more then you spend. There's two ways and you invest a difference. Now, your choice, your choice, investing is the difference here. To increase the difference, you have a choice. Make more money or don't spend as much. All right, I mean, like I said, I'd rather make more money instead of cutting my spending. I mean, uh, in terms of, in terms of my spending relative to my income, is actually very, very little. Like I said, I, can, I mean, I, I don't even spend 10% of what I make. So that means a lot of it goes to saving. And that's why you see the net worth keep increasing. All right, so my my goal my goal is to increase my network. That's what turns me on. That's what I like to see. I like to look at my balance sheet and see, oh, yeah, I'm building a legacy. Uh, I don't like sure you have a fancy car and a fancy house and designer clothes. It, it has to appear, but the truth of the matter is, uh, the person you see with the fancy car, the Rolex watch, whatever, odds are he or she is not a millionaire. They're just projected, they're just trying to look rich. There's in between, there's in between looking rich and being rich. And given a choice, I'd rather be rich than to look rich. Unfortunately, a lot of the population spend all their money, all their cash flow, trying to look rich, but they're not rich. So uh, why don't I have any of, why don't I have Rolexes and all these other stuff? It's because I don't need to look rich. I'm already rich. The same Jack Daniel also asked me to do a video on the technical stuff. All this, my computer stuff that I use to create this vlog. Oh, I guess I can do that since I'm at the office. All right, so this is my computer. MacBook Pro. Totally top of the line. I completely maxed it out. If you do a Google, if you do a search on my vlog, you'll find my unboxing of this, uh, of this MacBook. It's over $4,000 as I, I totally maxed it out and I also dropped it in, in, the, in the unboxing. So this is what it's worked on and it has one terabyte hard drive space, but which is not enough. So I, I uh, hook up another portable uh, four terabyte Porsche design hard drive. This is where I keep all, this is where actually where I store my video. So that gets stored on here and it uses the, uh, I guess the USB, the new USB system, USB 3.0 or USB-C as they call it. All right, so this is, this allows me to run pretty much everything. If I'm on the road, this is all I take. I just take this and I take the drive. When I'm at home, uh, this computer is connected to these two, uh, these two 27 inch uh, LG, LG 
5K monitors. Uh, yeah, they basically allows me to, you know, uh, do multiple screen. I can drag stuff here, drag stuff there. You know, it's it's, it's kind of cool. Gives me a lot more workspace to work with, and it's how I prefer to work. Uh, I can just get along with just this, but I would prefer to be on the big screen. All right. So, and the desk here. This is a this is my rising automatic rising desk. I can uh, basically I can hit a button and it, it will it will rise up. Yeah, it elevates up in case I want to work standing up or sitting down. Yeah, so sometimes sitting, sitting, sometimes sitting down all the time is bad posture. So some, so uh, oftentimes, just to get a change of scenery or change of posture, I, I will work standing up. So this is elevated up. And this is this is how I work. So yeah. uh, this setup here, you're looking at. Uh, well, it, it, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Like this thing's over four thousand uh, dollars. I think these monitors are like fifteen hundred bucks a piece. All right, so you you basically with all the equipment here, you're looking at over ten thousand bucks. So I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's a good thing I live the dot com lifestyle. Right now, I'm going to Irvine. Gonna check out the new remodel BCD Tofu House. Gonna have that for lunch, and perfect timing too, because I just finished my workout. I'm hungry, and uh, I know it's kind of defeats the whole purpose. Eh? You, you you work out for an hour, and then you to lose the weight, and then you go eat and put the weight back. <laughs> oh well, let's go. CD Tofu House uh, was one of our go-to places for lunch. Uh, we used to come here every single Monday and they were closed for the last, oh man, they were closed for several months. Uh, they used to occupy the, the first three awnings to the left and now they expanded to the two awnings to the right so the place is almost, well I guess, I don't know, twice the size it, it, it was before so we're gonna see. And even though it expanded that much, I see a lineup. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. This place is huge now. It's so big. It's like twice the size as before. 